Hello everybody and welcome for a new Kerbal Space Program video. This video is about the space station because after we made the after we made the moon mission, entire moon mission, we need a space station. After we will need to make some encounters in space, but I don't want because it's too hard for me. I just get it once in a whole gameplay and it was very hard, so so I don't want to do that, but I'm I'm just obligated i don't have the word but we just have to do that because it's on the missions that got you rewards and money it's the next part of the game history mode so we will need to make some encounters in space this is a little short mission to have the money because a space station is very expensive mine cost me around i think it's 100,000 bucks um, if I just count the rocket and the space station and with the upgrades that we need to make in the science and the modules and other it cost me around two to six hundred thousand bucks so it was more expensive than all the missions I've ever made but it's because the main parts cost us a lot of money and we needed to hire two person to be every time in the space station because yes I hired two person to be in that and I will not leave at least for a long time so this is the view of the crew pilot and tourists this is just an orbit tourist mission it's not very interesting it's not very long to do so it's it's just approximately 10 minutes of fly for the tourist it's for me it's less than four minutes and for you it's even less so all goes great. I tried some urgency breaking, emergency breaking, but uh, as I was expecting, it doesn't work in space because you can't break without air or without gears or an other. So the little red thing on the front of the rocket, it's a uh, it's a drag force, but there is no drag force without atmosphere, so it's getting bigger and bigger, but not very important the rocket is heating like in any re-entries if you watched all my videos you know every everything of this and if you play Kerbal Space Program even better you know everything of this so I want to buy the next game of Kerbal Space Program Kerbal Space Program 2 but for that I need to finish the one first so I will make a gameplay on the second game but I want to finish the first one first and after I will buy the second game and try it so the landing wasn't very nice because we had a problem with parachutes we got very fast and boom crashed so we made it a second time with a second landing so no problem no any other thing we will land with all the tourists safe it's just like nasa's we sometimes kill people but don't care we have the um, the retake to restart restart game mode they say don't it's why colombia and challenger i think it was the second but the first one but in my head it's the second so i think it's challenger and colombia that crashed exploded not correct because they never touched back the, the ground and this is a single landing so without a problem for now it's very nice parachute deployed and parachute opened so this is a second and last tourist mission of the episode so why this one is a lot bigger it's because it's not only for orbit it's also for moon moon mission it's just around so moon, we don't have to touch ground and to get back it's just around i don't think it's it's not even orbiting around the moon so it's very quick and very easy to do so we are going right on the milky way we can see the milky way it's really nice really beautiful you can see all the stars around and this is not quite realistic because it's just just painting i think it's not the real stars around but in kerbal space program 2 they decided to add interstellar flights so it's why this game will be a lot more interesting and i think there is also the ability to modify the characteristics of any pieces in the game like the size the fuel and other so it's very very interesting it's 
lots more than just Kerbal Space Program 1. So this this game is very nice, but it's quickly replaced by the second one. It will be quickly replaced, I think, because the, the second one looks really, really... Just we don't have word to describe it, it's so incredible. You can even change the color of modules. It, instead of just having this one with some problems in the colors. As you can see, there's already something orbiting around the Earth. It's because I made the tourist missions after the um, after the space station, but I want the space station to be at the end of the video because it's the most important part of this video. So, raising up our apoapsis and other, it will be really weak. I will not let this in real time and other because it's not the most important part of the video. If you don't make this, you can subscribe, leave a like, comment. I ask this every time because because it's um, YouTuber's habits. So I made it the exact same thing because I saw every YouTuber saying this and other, but it changed nothing to my channel. I cannot just say that and it will not change anything, but I, I still saying it, it because it, it feels more like a YouTuber if I say that. It's just um, the professional mark. So we get around the moon, just fly fly by, and after raise up our periapsis to not crash into the surface, and up we are at the periapsis. So we are really fast, at approximately three thousand meters per second. So it's three kilometers per second. It's not that fast compared to other missions, but it's very fast anyway. So we have again a lot of fuel remaining because I don't know how to calculate it right. I I have the file with all the delta v's that you need for every planet, but following this makes this completely incorrect. So. It's always more or less. I, I don't know. It's because I don't know how to correctly drive a rocket. It's my problem, not the problem of the file. So with the fuel remaining, we got even. We just slow down uh, at a point where even on the lower atmosphere we will not explode. So it's there's a problem actually. I just took my view on the wrong part and it's why we untouched without the crew I, I just thought there was a great issue with that so it's burning but no problem it's normal completely normal you, you are a tourist you're in that and you see all flames around you you feel the heat and other but we, we tell you it, it's normal you are burning you're dying but it's normal no matter, continue your life, continue and feel the present moment. So this mission took them approximately four hours, I think. I'm not pretty sure of it or it's more than one day and four hours, but it was really fast, one of my fastest missions to the moon. So touch. So we need to make the space station right now, so with a little capsule because it needs to be controlled by someone and after some science. So I decided to go with two side modules that are plugged in and we can't untouch them, but two side modules with all the science from one side, uh, with all the science that you can't reuse and other. Actually, with scientists, you can reuse the science pods, so it's very useful. Upon uh, putting some batteries, some caps and other batteries, because it will use a lot of energy and we have some solar panels. It's a new change. It's the, that technology that messed up before to just make us able to make some space station. So we have some antennas to make it able to communicate with the ground because we will not be able to recover it. We don't have any thrusters or other in the space station. So we we just have a problem right here. We have the second stage of the rocket here and we will build the first stage. So I made some modification after that because it was not stable, it was not solid. As you can see, the second stage changed a bit. So, turning on the engine, 
again the, the maneuvers and other still the same. I want to make SSTOs like Matlon, but I'm not I'm not able to make them because I, I don't have the parts, first reason, and second reason I don't know how to make this really fly grid so we are just making rockets because it's care about space program and it's a rocket game at first so we make rockets. Our apoapsis is raising up, it will be just at the limit height, it, it is at 78 kilometers above the ground so we have 200 meters per second delta V remaining in the first stage, no problem, it's normal, it's even a little bit more than we expected. So we are at the apoapsis, the point where we are the higher of the ground, and I use those words because I think you know them, but for a little quick reminder, apoapsis is the highest point of your orbit and periapsis it's the lower, and when periapsis is above zero, it means that you will just crash into the surface if you don't act in anything. So the second stage has a lot of delta V, it's because I don't knew where I would put the space station. <laughs> yes, actually, I don't know if it was a 200 kilometers just orbit or a 400 or 500. So you will see at the end of the video where it will be. So there is a lot of maneuvers to make this a quick and really nice orbit, just stable orbit most importantly because I want it to be really stable with less than one kilometer of difference between apoapsis and periapsis so that's a literal circle between both we have a speed that is growing up because we are close to the ground but once you get um, further from the um, carbon you, your speed decreases so as you can see, when we will go to the apoapsis, our speed will not be from 2,300, it will be around 1,000, 1,200 meters per second. So yes, we are much slower, but we are not um, just attracted by the same force of gravity. It's the same force, but it's not at the same distance. So I got with a nice circular orbit around 1 kilo 1000 kilometers above the ground. So with that no problem, we will not be just break, break up, I don't have the word, we will just be at the same speed because air will not affect us. In this game it's just at 70 kilometers, so we can make a very low space station orbit but we are higher because it will be useful when we need to assemble this with some engines and other so quick changes from apoapsis to periapsis to make this nice and circular so raising up our periapsis raising up I said so this is a little bit more than necessary so we need to control very precisely those motors are not very perfect for that and each time we will encounter another part of the space station when we will make this encounter and upgrade this it will just change a little bit the uh, orbit not that much but slightly change it so our apoapsis is right right now but not our periapsis so again a change in other it's very complex and I, I, it took a long part of my time because it's just little correction and it's great so we will untouch the motor because we we will we will need it excuse me if it was some emergency case but we don't need it because we will not move the station at all so putting the, sp the solar panels at the good angle and here we are the space station is in orbit a perfect orbit so you can leave a like comment and subscribe the second time that i said that in the same video it's incredible thank you for watching and thank you for all